Der Margo is a third generation El Pasoan, and Tom Lee was baptized by her great grandfather. That's right. Now, you can't get any more El Paso <laughs> than that. So, Tom Lee and your grandfather. Right, his, his mother played the piano in my great grandfather's church. She it. thought very highly of, of uh, Joseph Franklin Williams was his name. There are some interesting quotes about Tom Lee. Tell us one by Robert Caro. Robert Caro, I met him at the Texas Book Festival in 2007, and he, when he found out I knew Tom Lee, he said, Tom Lee was an unsung genius of our time who made it purely on the quality of his work. Wow. And I'd never really thought, well, how do you make it? Most people make it by moving to places where people pay attention to you. And he stayed in El Paso because his nourishment was here. He was educated elsewhere, learned things, was exposed to things. But, he, you know, he was the most significant artist of World War II, traveling all over the world. And what he learned in El Paso kind of prepared him for all these other tasks in his life, but he always came back home. When he was covering the North Atlantic, this is one thing, he asked an admiral, he said, why would you send a kid from the desert to the Atlantic? And he said, do you think I want a yachtsman who thinks he knows everything? I wanted a fresh view and by golly, I got it. And so I think there's something about growing up here and he was nurtured here as, you know, I know there are many other people too, but I think we create good people. And Tom Lee is a prime example. Tom Lee lived on the uh, east side, on the eastern slopes of the mountains. And he said, if I remember correctly, I love living over there because it is the sunrise side of town. The sunrise side of his artwork as well. Talk about that. Right. He said, it, it's a sunrise side. It's the side to see the day that is coming, not the side to see the day that is gone. The best day is the day coming with the work to do, all his artwork, with the eyes wide open, with the heart grateful. Oh, that's that's a full quote. And George W. Bush quoted that, and Brett Kavanaugh, you know, Supreme Court Justice now, he has that quote and a reproduction of Tom Lee's Rio Grande that hung in the Oval Office in his chambers at the Supreme Court. While Tom Lee was painting the incredible mural at our federal courthouse, there was another gentleman watching him. Who is that? There was Jose Cisneros, who was from Durango, Mexico. His family lost everything during the Mexican Revolution. They fled with only the clothes on their backs. They ended up in Juarez in 1925, and he got a job at the White House department store uh, later doing window dressing. But he want, aspired to be a great illustrator. And when he came to El Paso, was working in the White House department store, they threw away signs. So he would do drawings on the back. And he knew at the time, that it was 1938, Tom Lee was working on this mural. When anyone's working on a big project, artists who aspire know it. And he went and carried his drawings and would stand in the corner of the courthouse and watch Tom Lee work. And I did Jose Cisneros' oral history, and he told me, one day I gathered courage to interrupt him at his work. And Tom Lee, 1938, he'd lost his wife, he'd lost his mother, he'd lost his grandmother. He was doing that huge mural all by himself, 50 pounds of Rembrandt paint, this huge mural. I asked myself, how would I act if someone who didn't speak my language interrupted me? But Jose told me how Tom got off the scaffolding, sat down, very slowly went through the drawings, told him it was great that he was representing the history of his own people. And then Jose said, I knew he didn't think they were bad when he smiled. Oh. And then he wrote a note to Maud Derlin Sullivan, our librarian, and he's presenting Senor Jose Cisneros, very respectful, respectfully, who had just walked into the courthouse. He thought perhaps she might like to exhibit his work. But the letter was just beautiful, and Jose went to Maudrell and Sullivan. She gave him his first show. Uh, he was got exposure. He met Carl Herzog, the famous book designer from El Paso, and ended up illustrating hundreds of books about the Spanish borderlands. When my son studied in Madrid, Spain, all their professors knew Jose Cisneros from El Paso. But his profession was never as an artist. He worked for the bus company. He painted buses. He, he cleaned buses. But at night, he'd always go to the basement of his home on Waco Street and draw. Wow. 
He was, extra he was just an extraordinary talent. Uh, got the National Humanities Medal uh, from President Bush. He was, got all kinds of awards, Jose. Adair, I can say that you have made the artists of El Paso so exciting, and now we really appreciate them even more. Thank you so much.